And it was a beautiful day today, but we have even cooler air moving in, reinforcing cool air will move in from the north. Look how chilly it is up to our north right now in Jacksonville at the airport. We are sitting at 71 degrees. Some of you already in the 60s, Mayport, Lake City, Waycross and Brunswick. The rest of you in the 70s for now, but you will quickly drop down into the 60s shortly. These temperatures are already cooler than it was this time yesterday. So at 645 yesterday, we were around five degrees cooler than we are right now. By the way, I'm still watching the flood advisory for the St. John's River Basin, so this has been extended until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. It starts in downtown Jacksonville and extends all the way down through places in Putnam and Flagler counties, so that means at times of high tide overnight tonight, and you can see the high tide times here on your screen, you could get some minor flooding still, so we'll keep an eye on that for you. Besides that overnight temperatures drop down into the 50s. We'll have some more clouds and maybe even some isolated showers overnight into tomorrow morning. Low temperatures are going to be in the 50s, but for some of you, especially inland, they could potentially drop down into the 40s. So a chilly start to the morning tomorrow morning. Here's a look at the cloud cover and showers that we could potentially see later on in the next couple of hours. For now, we're staying dry, maybe a few sprinkles into tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be a gross day tomorrow. Notice that we have a lot of sunshine that builds behind it, and then throughout our Monday, we could have passing clouds at times. Maybe a few more showers and sprinkles, but overall rain chances are staying low at 10%. So that means that most of us stay dry and cooler. High temperatures tomorrow likely staying in the 60s for most of us. I won't rule out a spot or two reaching 70, but overall 60s. Most of the day spent in the 60s, so a cooler day on the way. And then overnight Monday night to Tuesday morning, we get a rush of cooler air. Look at this. Temperatures will drop, especially because we'll have clear skies, and lows will likely land in the 40s. So at the bus stop Tuesday morning, kids have to be bundled up. Even Wednesday, not much better. Still a lot of us starting in the 40s, and then slowly but surely, we'll try to climb back through the 50s. Same with our afternoon high temperatures. Monday and Tuesday, cool days, most of the time spent in the 60s and then slowly but surely we'll see those highs climb up through the 70s. That is still cooler than normal though. Our average high temperature for this time of year is 81 degrees. Rain chances stay very low. Friday is our next best chance for rain and rain chances on Friday are subject to change. So check back in for that right now. I'm going with the 40%. In the tropics, Sean is a tropical depression that will likely dissipate overnight tonight. We're watching this next system. I know that path is one that we don't normally like, but models are all agreeing right now that this this is going to take a turn to the north, so the Lesser Antilles will have to watch it, but then it turns to the north. It looks like it will stay east of us, and it is not a concern to the first coast. Meanwhile, for us, we're going to talk about those cooler temperatures. That is a concern, especially Tuesday morning lows in the middle 40s.